Hi there. I know it's in the middle of the night and it's terrible light here. Uh, I just improvising here, but I'm excited because I got a software update for my Tesla Model Y, which I installed just like two hours ago. And it finally has the adaptive matrix headlights. Finally, finally, uh, they've been installing the hardware necessary for it for probably two years now. And they just didn't enable it yet. And I think the reason was that it was um, a difficult approval process here in the US to get these lights um, approved for a car. Um, but apparently they finally got it approved and the software update enabled them now. So I went out on a drive and I want to show you now. Okay. All right, so now I can actually see, yeah. It does a little bit of a V. I don't know if you can see it. It does a little bit of a, there is a little gap and it doesn't light up the car in front. Do you see that? Oh yes, I see the pixels. Holy shit, that is amazing. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm getting excited. This is, this is, yes, I can see the pixel work. This is fantastic. So it does light up, you can see it lights up the sides of the road, all right? And it just excluded that car in front of me. But now it's gone, so it's not excluding anything. Yes, it, it does, it does work, I can see it. I can see it work. And you can see it lights up, it is high beam, it's, it's, Yes, it works. All right, this is this is exciting. Okay, let's go to that car. Amazing, amazing. Yes, yes, it works. All right. Yeah, I can see how it turns off the pixels around that car. And back on, yes. Well, it it is it is working as expected. It does its job. You can actually see how it's adjusting the pixels on and off, depending on where the car in front of me is. <laughs> this is this is amazing. This is very cool I'm gonna go a little bit closer maybe the effect of the pixels turning on and off is a little better visible but you can clearly see how on the side next to the car the trees are lit up so the high beam goes all the way to whatever the maximum height is to the left and to the right of the car but it excludes the car in front of me so as i'm looking through the video i noticed something that i didn't really saw as i was driving um, there is a distinction between the bottom and the top half of the light beam and that was actually when you before the adaptive matrix um, um, software update, when you had low beam, only the bottom section of, of the, the lights or the, or the bottom section pixels were on. And if you had high beams, the bottom and the top section was on. And that was a switch, basically. It would just turn half of the, the matrix off. And so what I'm seeing right now with the active matrix going on, it only seems to switch the top half of it. So I'm not sure if the bottom half does have pixels or not, um, or if they only switch the top pixels at this point. The other thing that I noticed is that it only seems to switch horizontal. There doesn't seem to be any vertical switching. And you can see if you watch my car, there is some dip, some hills, so I'm going up and down, which means the, the angle of my car relative to the car in front of me or the road in front of me changes and as I go uphill um, the 
the section between the top and the bottom uh, um, part of the, the matrix, you can see how that goes up and down. But the adaptive pixels don't seem to adjust to that, only left and right, not up and down. So what I noticed, if I go into a hill and there's a car coming in front of me and going down that hill, it excludes it, but it excludes way, basically way too much. It dips way down, which isn't a problem. Um, you know, um, the opposite is more of a problem. If you go uphill and the car is in front of you, it basically, my beam is higher than it should be, and it doesn't turn off the pixels on the bottom section, so I'm starting to, you know, the light hits the car instead of being excluded. So it seems at this point at least only the pixels left and right get adjusted, but not in an up and down way. And it's actually very clear if you if you watch the car, if you watch the video um, dip up and down, you can see that the the pixels only turn on and off left and right, not um, adjusting to the height change or angle change of the car. Other than that, I am pretty happy with it. It works really well. It does what it's supposed to do. It adjusts to cars driving in front of you. It adjusts to oncoming traffic. I haven't had a chance to try it with bicycles because I there weren't any on the test drive that I did. But yeah, it's. I think it's. it, it does the job really well. Um, the height adjustment might still be something they can probably improve on depending on whether the bottom half of the matrix actually has pixels or not. I'm not sure about that. Um, the other thing is it's a huge improvement over the previous adaptive um, high beam, which was basically, in my experience, not usable. It was just unreliable. It switched randomly. It switched too late. All of that. This. This is something I can see myself use on a daily basis on a night drive. But let me know what you think. This is just the first drive I did. I just wanted to share my experience and get the discussion going. So if you have it, uh, do a test drive and let me know how it works for you. And especially if you can see the same things that I saw, that only the top half of the light seems to have uh, pixels that are switching on and off. I know there was kind of an improvised video, but I wanted to put it out because I was excited about getting the update and finally, after so many years of waiting, having the adaptive um, headlights work. Because I know I had them in my car the entire time. It just wasn't en enabled. So anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time.